All right, welcome back, and guess what? We are not in Photoshop. So today I'm gonna to show you this cool little trick to take low resolution graphics, a hand drawn image, or even a photo, and turn it into a vector. Now the first thing that we need to understand, what's the difference between a vector and a rasterized image? So let's go ahead and open up this little cat illustration that we have here. And we open this up into Adobe Photoshop and you can see it's a teeny tiny image. So this is not a big file. And so as we zoom into this, notice that this image is actually made up of a bunch of little pixels. This is what we call a raster image. If this was a vector image, this line would be perfectly smooth and this line would be perfectly smooth. What we can do is we can actually take this image or any image and send it over to Illustrator and do this process called image trace. And the cool thing about this is you do not have to know how to use Illustrator at all. So what we can do is once we turn this into a vector, we can scale this to any size we want. So we can run it at one inch or we can run it at 1000 inches and we won't lose any quality. The other benefit is vector images are predominantly very small file sizes. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back over into Bridge. And what I'm gonna do in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and right click. And so when this is right click, I'm gonna now designate what I want it to open up with. So I'm gonna say, hey, instead of Photoshop, can you open this up in Adobe Illustrator? And bam, just like that, we have this image in Adobe Illustrator. We want this image to be selected here. So we're gonna come up to Window, we're gonna drop down to control and that's gonna bring up this line right up here. So if you don't have that, once again, that's window and control. You can see over here in this palette as well, I've got image trace up. So if we drop down, notice I've got image trace because this is the process or thing that we wanna do. Now by default, it's always gonna default as a black and white image, but we can see right here, we've got image trace and I can click on this and it's got different options that I can trace this as. So we've got default, an image, a low quality image, three colors, six colors, 16 colors, shades of gray, a black and white logo, sketched art, silhouettes, line art, technical drawing. So those are all just presets that we have available right there. We can also come over here into image trace and we can click on that. Once again, we're gonna have those same presets we can do view as tracing result. We can do tracing result with outlines and it will change as we do it. So we'll come back to this. We're just gonna do tracing results right now. Then we can control the threshold. So do we want more black or less black in the image trace? And then we have some advanced options down here. So for right now, we're just gonna turn that off. Let's go ahead and we're gonna click right down here and hit trace. I'm just gonna hit trace and it's gonna go through that process just like that. Notice we lost some of the image, but it made this area perfectly smooth. So let's go ahead, we're gonna take this and just move this to the right and add a little bit more black until we get the rest of our image back in. There's those little teeny lines. This was a really small file, it was 680 pixels I think, so just a little teeny tiny image. And as I draw this back and forth, we can just keep going until we get the whole image. And we can see right there, bam, just like that, we've got this image traced out. If I go ahead and zoom in, notice all those things where there were pixels, it's a perfectly smooth line. So they're using mathematical algorithms to create this now. And so we can control that size. Down here, we have some advanced settings here, so we can control the pass, the corners, and the noise. And what this is doing corners is it, it, it's saying more or less corners meaning do you want a harder edge or a rounded edge on the trace? And here you can control the paths, like how many paths are we using? So if we come to tracing results, now you're gonna see the options. So now it's showing you the tracing results with outlines. So it's the outline of the tracing results. We can do just the outline so you don't see the fill. We can do this with the source image. Anything that you want, that's just a view to see the image. This is what it's going to save out as. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna to go to File, Save As. And it's gonna create this new file inside that other one. And notice this is AI for Adobe Illustrator. So we'll go ahead and 
just keep everything as a default. We're gonna go ahead and save this out. So now we're gonna go over to Bridge, and you can see we've got the PNG here, but we've also got Adobe Illustrator. Now we've got the PNG file open. It looks like it was 640 pixels, not 800 pixels that I think I said. So once again, we're gonna double click this and I'm gonna say open with and tell it to go to Photoshop because natively it would go to Illustrator as you can see it's the default. So we're gonna go like that. Now, when you open an Illustrator file, it's gonna ask you what size you wanna make it. So we're gonna make it some, we'll just keep it this size, which is almost nine inches square at 300 pixels per inch, which is very large. So now if we open this image up, Notice it is once again, a rasterized image. We can see the pixels, but look how smooth and clean those lines are compared to something like this where it's all faded in and out. So we've greatly improved the quality of this image by using image trace in Adobe Illustrator. So this process is gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna go here to Adobe Illustrator this time. And we're gonna go ahead and quit this file. So just command W to get rid of it. And I'm gonna open up a new letter. We're gonna come up here and go to file and then down to place. And then it's gonna let us pick the images that we want. So in this case, we want that image and hit command and pick that image. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit place. So I'm just gonna create this little image here and create and put that image there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we've got this first image and this is our sketched art image. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna change the preset in this one to sketched art. And just like that, it has created this image trace. And I'll go ahead and zoom in so we can see what's going on. So it's trace this image according to our settings over here. So mode, we are in black and white. I could do color or grayscale if I wanted. Right here, I can control the threshold. I can increase this to get blacker, thicker lines, or if I want less, I can go this way. Obviously that's not working. And you can just continuously slide this until you're getting the type of image that you want. So let's say that we're happy with that there, we can do that. So down here, we've got advanced, so we're controlling the paths. So we could do lower, so it's simpler, or we could treat, do this so there's more paths in the image and it's giving us more detail. In this case, I think I wanna do the opposite. I want less pass, so we can control our corner detail. So do we want like smoother rounded corners like this, or do we want corners that are nice and sharp on the edges? In this case, I think we'll just do something around here. That's gonna be good for this image or me. And then we can control the noise. Next thing that we have down here is just the method. So if we hover over that, we've got a budding where it creates cutout paths. And if we come over here, it's gonna change it to overlapping paths on this method. So right here, do you wanna fill in the filled areas from the paths? If you do, you would definitely want that turned on. It turned on off strokes there. In this case, we want fills. So the next option is to snap curves to lines. So if I click this on, it's gonna change the way that it forms it a little bit, or I can uncheck that. That's basically how we create paths. So we're gonna come down here and we have this one, which has definitely more resolution. So I can come down here and I can go ahead and hit image trace. And we would need to go through all the exact same settings. In this case, we're gonna uncheck that and then we're gonna increase the thresholds and we can basically create another image on this graphic right here. So I'm not gonna go ahead and save this one. We're gonna go ahead and quit that out. So now we've created this image, we've selected it, but in this time, we're gonna go ahead and pick color. And so in this case, we'll pick high fidelity photo. And when it does that, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but it's gonna go ahead and trace this image, and I will zoom in when it's done so you can see what it's done. All right, we will zoom in and you can see it's still the same photo, but if we zoom in and look at it, you can see it's actually turned it into a vector and it looks more like an illustration now than it did originally as a photo. So if I hit Command Z and undo that, you can see this is back to the original image. And if I hit trace again, this time we can do it as a low fidelity photo. So it won't have as much detail in the image, but it's still gonna be a vector. And now you can see it, it's a lower quality vector. 
Now, the cool thing about this is we can control this. So if we want more colors in this image, we can slide it this way. So if I want this to be closer in between the high and the low, I could say, hey, let me add some more colors. It will automatically retrace the image. And now it's gonna have 53 different colors in this image. And you can see a whole lot more detail than it did before. Now, if I decide that I don't want it is a full color image and I just want to have six colors, I can pick the method that has six colors. It's gonna go through an image trace and you can see it sized it down and really simplified this drawing into a six color vector. Now, if I don't wanna do color, I can always come up here and I can do black and white logo and it's gonna turn this into either black or white. Just like before, we can control the thresholds to either get more or less of the image and I can just slowly add some stuff and now I can say, hey, this is what I wanna create is just this black and white vector that I can use on my image. So anything that you would want to do and you would just go ahead and save this out as that Adobe Illustrator file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and do high fidelity photo. All right, it's created that vector. Then we'll just fit simply go file, save as, and we will just call this and that's going to save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. We'll hit OK, OK, and just like that. We've got this image. All right, now we're back here in Bridge. You can see we've got this AI. And in this case, I can right click, say open with Adobe Photoshop. We'll just leave it as this size. I don't really care what size it is. And we'll open up and you can see now we have the image. It's not a photo anymore, but it's turned it into this kind of like Illustrator vector image inside of Adobe Photoshop. That's how you use image trace in a variety of different ways. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.